Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're going to be doing some maintenance in the LEGO room. I've got a bunch of LEGO that needs to be sorted. So I'm going to sort all of this LEGO here today. Pretty excited about that. There's eight large bins. I'm curious to know how heavy these bins are. So I'm also going to get a grand total of how much unsorted LEGO we have. And there's some shelves over by my desk. They currently have a bunch of sets, mocks, and base plates, and this needs to be dealt with as well because I'd rather display awesome looking Lego there rather than a cluttered mess. So yeah, eight large bins of Lego that need to be sorted. How am I gonna sort this stuff? Well, I'm gonna run them through my large wooden sorters here from PeteSquared23.com. I decided that I better check out PeteSquared23.com just to make sure they still have these brick sorters in stock, and it turns out they don't, but rather they have a new updated version, which is smaller and made out of MDF and actually much more affordable. It's $175, and this one here looks pretty awesome, pretty high quality. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Even the top of it, it looks like it's the same size as a base plate, so you can put a base plate on the top of it. And if you are interested in one of these, I actually have a discount code that'll save you 10% upon checkout. It's actually BRIXY in all caps, and when you apply that discount, you're gonna save 10% on the sorter. And by using that discount code, you help support the channel. And also by purchasing these, you help support two companies. That's Pete from Pete Square 23 and also The Woodshed, who actually made this product. You can see I've got a bunch of stuff in here already. And when I sort that through, all of the uh, cheese slopes are gonna fall to the bottom layer. That's what I wanna do, is get all of the smallest pieces from all of these bins sorted out and separated from all of the larger pieces. So when we actually do a thorough sort, it's gonna be a lot easier. Before I get started, I've gotta clear out my large sorter. All the pieces in here are actually found on the pad wall. Trans blue one by twos and also a bunch of leaves. So that's pretty awesome. Now that the sorter's empty and those parts are dealt with, it's time to unload the first bin, which weighs 17.6 pounds. So we'll say that it's taken me a while to get used to this large brick sorter here, just because it's sort of big and clunky and it's got lots of different layers. It's easy to make a mess because you miss the containers. But the key is, is to have empty containers that you can dump these big trays into and to have large containers that are actually the same width as the different levels of the like sorting trays. Otherwise parts just go everywhere. But when I bring out all of my unsorted Lego and then I have the two big sorters and I've got all the different layers of that sorter put everywhere and all the lids everywhere, it becomes a chaotic mess pretty quickly. So the first attempt didn't really go that smoothly, but hey, at least I'm breaking down the Lego by size. So as you can probably tell, I'm making a pretty big mess while I'm doing this. There's Lego all over the ground. But all of the uh, Lego is being sorted through this awesome sorter, which has different sized holes on each layer. And I found myself actually not using the top two layers by the end of it because all of the larger pieces are sort of sitting on top of the bins of Lego. Now we have all of the sort of larger pieces in here and stuff that still needs to be broken down, and then all of our tiny one-by-one -one stuff. Now I did have to empty some of the bins because I needed empty bins to sort the stuff into or dump it into from the layers. So yeah, it's pretty neat. It's a timely process, but overall, I think it's gonna to be totally worth it to extract all of those tiny pieces from our bins of Lego. So after sorting the first bin, I decided that I'm not gonna be weighing these until the very end just because it's a mess in here and I wanna get this mess cleaned up as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Now when sorting the rest of these, I was determined to find a new system because the first attempt, like I said, did not go very well. So throughout this little time lapse here, I'm sort of coming up with a new system. I'm moving things out of the way so I have more space to work. In the end, I had one bin that I was working from, one bin that was empty, and then I had three bins that you see in the foreground of the camera there. Those three bins are the three sizes that we're working with. So I decided to put all the large pieces in one bin and that's on the left side there, all of the medium pieces in the center bin and then all of the tiny little one by one stuff in the bin on the right. So I think breaking it down by three sizes was definitely the best way to go. Just because I don't really want to break it down any more than that, I guess maybe there could be like an extra large bin, large bin, medium bin and then a small bin. I actually didn't use all of the layers in the sorter. I only ended up using four of them and I just found that made it a little bit easier to manage. You're not dealing with taking off all of these different layers because all of the extra large and large stuff is gonna get caught up in the first tray anyway. So it definitely made it a lot easier to just reduce the size of the sorter and I guess that's one of the benefits of this thing here is you can use as many or as little trays as you want. 
I've got to say, having all the parts sorted like this definitely makes it look a lot more manageable. I was so scared, but now I'm like, it's, it's going to be pretty easy. Like, it's fairly straightforward. And you look at all these bins, like, this is crazy. Look at how many small pieces there are. All one by ones and tiny pieces. It feels pretty good to, like, run your hands through here, though. Sounds pretty cool, too. That's like Lego ASMR right there. Lots of good pieces in here though, like grills and uh, there's a little trophy fig I spotted. Also like jumpers and one by one studs and tiles and cheese slopes and all that stuff. Then the medium one looks even better. There's some good looking bricks in here, some great looking tiles, some pillars, all sorts of awesome stuff in that bin there. Like I've got to prioritize sorting this stuff for sure because there are, Tons of useful pieces in here, but it just seems like it's going to be so much easier now that it's broken down by size. And then the large stuff is just things that need to be like broken down. Like how easy would that be to sort? For my classic platform there with the little hidden Mickey, lots of gray tile and masonry. So yeah, there's some great pieces in the large bins as well. And things that just need to be like broken down. That's pretty cool though. It's like a bank and a party boat, the poor party boat. Uh, but yeah, lots of great stuff in here as well, like seaweed pieces and tree elements and everything that can be used for uh, future mock building or just, I don't know, just to have in your parts inventory. The problem is, is my parts inventory is already exploding. Most of the stuff is like being sorted and put into like a secondary parts inventory. So there's a space problem right now as well. But with that said, a lot of it I'm running very low on like, four by four plate or I keep having to acquire more. But I also have gone through this several times in the past. For example, when I'm working on a project and it involves gray one by brick, I've gone through here and just seeked out all of the gray one by brick specifically, right? So sometimes when specific parts are needed before ordering, I definitely went through and searched for those parts. Uh, then all of the bags over here, they were in their own separate totes. We have some uh, empty totes right now, but I didn't want to sort these by part size because these are going to be easier to just dump onto a table and then sort. So what I could do is dump this out, pick all of the white plate out, all of the gray plate, all of the nougat plate, all of the gray plate, whatever it may be, right? And sort all that out. Same with the black, the greens and yellows the orange and brown. This is actually a really nice looking bag right here. All sorts of plant elements and sticker pieces. It's a really nice looking bag there. But yeah, it's gonna be easier to sort those by part type on a case by case basis. Like just say, okay, we're gonna dump out all of the black pieces and pick out all of the technic components, all of the bricks, all the plate, etc. And then same with like these here with like the windows and Big, big bag of brick separators. I should put that with my other separators. We'll do that in a second. Then this is actually uh, Queer Eye stuff. It's all bag two. So I bought some of those Queer Eye sets. So sorting that by part type seems like it's gonna be pretty easy as well. And then there's some things that I either need to find the parts for and complete these models. Like this uh, helicopter would be really neat to have hovering over the Lego city. That's something I still need to do is actually hang planes over the Lego city and helicopters. I'm simply gonna take some fishing line and put it onto the poles that are holding up those floating shelves on the bulkhead, and I'm gonna hang some planes. So maybe I'll do that this week. I was thinking of putting an airstrip in, so maybe I'll do that when I put the airstrip in. That's a good idea. Also this bin, I'm not gonna sort by part size. What's in here? <laughs> 50 speeders and 50 walkers from the AT-AT battle packs. <laughs> AT-AT battle packs. The 501st Battle Packs, 50 of them in here because I built an army and I didn't build any of the walkers because I don't really have space to display 50 walkers or 50 speeders. So I do have some of them behind the gunship there and behind the army. And then I have some more down here on the bottom of my marble shelf. But I don't really need 50 more of those. Maybe one day I'll have the space to display a mass amount of those with all of the minifigures in there, because that would actually be pretty cool if we had 50 speeders and 50 walkers with minifigs, and that might be a really cool display. So that's why I don't want to break this down and put it in my standard parts inventory, because I'm saving this here for 
future Brixie. I think he'll really appreciate that <laughs> quickly, you know, like in the near future. But yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Eh? It looks a lot more manageable when it's broken down like this, that's for sure. So here's my shadow box of brick separators. Is this gonna do it? This bag of brick separators? It might do it. It might just fill it right up. <laughs> yep, there it is, pretty much full. You guys witnessed this moment with me. The shadow box is officially full and this uh, was given to me uh, by Jose for my 30th birthday. Isn't that cool? I think it was my 30th birthday. Maybe it was earlier than that, but there you go. The brick separator shadow box is full. So the next task is not sorting any of that Lego, but rather it's cleaning up these shelves here. And I think this is gonna be the perfect spot for that shadow box full of brick separators. Just like that, it's looking a lot better. It's not all sorted yet though. I decided to pull everything off the shelves just to like assess what was on the shelves, determine what needed to be parted out, uh, what needs to be sorted, what needs to stay intact. Like for example, this bin right here is all of my beach stuff. When I deconstructed my beach, which is still awaiting details, I threw it all in this bin. So maybe I shouldn't part all this stuff out because it's probably gonna be used in my beach. It's got a bunch of cool stuff in here like giant sandcastles. I can for sure reuse that when I uh, detail my beach, which actually is gonna be happening this week. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I may as well keep that bit intact. Just put it underneath the table, I guess. <laughs> Move mess from A to B, there you go. Uh, a bunch of other minifigures in here too. This stuff just needs to be worked into the amusement park, like when it gets back up and operational and just anywhere into the Lego city, a bunch of great city figures in here. You know what? I was uh, thinking about the amusement park the other day and when I construct it, I'm going to crowd it with minifigures. I also have a big bag of sig figs. That's people's sig figs that have been sent to me. They used to be on the wall here or they used to be on the Brixie wall way over there. And then I took them down and I never re reintegrated them into the city and it's because I didn't have my amusement park operational. And when my amusement park is back up and operational, all of those sig figs and all of the sig figs that I receive in mail will go in the amusement park so that we know everybody that uh, is part of the city is in the amusement park, right? It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, then there's just a bunch of stuff here that needs to be parted out, like beach cabanas. There's like a bunch of messy stuff here from when I was doing the beach, so all the stuff just needs to be worked into the inventory behind me there. And then a bunch of facades that are slowly but surely being parted out here. Lots of masonry bricks, that's nice. So we'll get all those back in the inventory. The old go-kart track, I don't think the amusement park is gonna have a go-kart track. So this was like the, um, whatever, the, I don't know. What do you wanna call that? The place where you, uh, sign in for the go-karts and you grab your helmet. So that's gonna get parted out. This sort of old, <laughs> sorry to say, but ugly ship set that'll get parted out, all these spare pieces here. This never really got integrated into the zoo and I don't know where I'll use it. So I guess we'll have some cool sticker elements. Oh, that's a pretty neat couch actually. Could probably integrate that into some sort of building. But there's lots of great pieces in that set, so I'll probably just part that out as well. Same with this. Never, I don't think this is gonna get reintegrated into the amusement park, so I'll probably part that out. And this big looking tree here, funny looking tree. These old concession stands, or not, yeah, concession stands. Those get parted out, same with these old games from the amusement park, they just need an upgrade when I do the amusement park, I don't want that stuff in there. This is like the old uh, plate for the haunted house, so that will be parted out as well. Work this into the inventory, it's a big bag of green pieces, so that's good. All the old water plates, work all these pieces into the inventory as well. And then also we got some roads here that I've kept intact, but we may as well just part those out, clean those up. Same with these mills plates here, we'll just recreate them when we need more mills plates for the city. So yeah, it's really not that bad. And I think that was my main focus today was to get that cleaned up and also to break down these bins and make it just seem like it's more manageable, right? So it's pretty uh, successful day so far. Pretty happy to get this stuff all broken down. I uh, put them all back into the bins and I actually put all of the small stuff in these two little mini bins. I got the lids in the garage. 
just because there's no sense in wasting a big bin on those tiny little pieces. And then I put all the bag stuff back into bins as well. So we've got three bins of bagged stuff and this will be the priority. So once we get that sorted over there, all that stuff on my desk, which will take a long time, uh, after we continue sorting, we're gonna start with the bag stuff because that's gonna be the easiest stuff to start with. But yeah, this really isn't too bad. So I'm excited to clean this up and free up those two shelves there. Also, you'll notice that my TV is gone. It's actually screwed it to a piece of melamine. I'll show you, it's funny. I've actually uh, set it up as an outdoor TV. It's on my kitchen table right now, which is currently a baby chain station. Yeah, times have changed. But I actually had this extra piece of melamine, which is a shelf, has the nice white edge. And I took some of this metal strapping and I screwed my TV right to the uh, shelf there, put a little cable box there. So now we have an outdoor TV, eh? Revolutionary. I actually did this last year as well, but it was pretty ugly. Rather than using the metal straps, I actually duct taped it. You can see the duct tape residue on the TV stand. But yeah, this year I used the uh, metal strapping. And then I also uh, zip tied the cords together and uh, mass and taped them down to the piece of melamine. So I'm pretty stoked on Outdoor TV 2.0. So I failed to weigh all of these bins, but I'm still curious to know how much all of this Lego weighs. So I decided to throw them all on the scale as I was putting the bins away. And it ended up being a total of 131.2 pounds of Lego. That is insane. That equates to 60 kilograms. And that doesn't even include the two massive bins in the garage that I still have to sort. Those are going to be a little bit more difficult to sort because there's a lot of non-Lego in there and it also needs to be fully washed. Well, everybody, it definitely makes a huge difference when those shelves are cleared and everything is sorted. That is absolutely fantastic. It just looks so clean in here now. Oh, I'm so excited about that. In order to uh, get everything dealt with on there, obviously tons of sorting had to happen. And I also integrated one of the modular buildings into the LEGO City. It's in sort of a strange spot right now, but it was built using one of the Heart Lake City school sets. And that is the activity center, which sits on a 16 by 32 base plate. I decided to put it by the school there. I tried it right next to it, but it actually has a different depth and doesn't really look that good. So right now it sits beside the bakery. One of my next projects is gonna be properly integrating the Eight Studs House, which is actually a Bricklink Designer Program set. So this is gonna go in one of the green spaces that I plan on adding to the LEGO City. I've brought this up in a previous LEGO City update. I wanna add more green space to the downtown core, specifically over there by the farm. And then we have some other areas that are open for green space as well, such as right here beside the amusement park and the train station. I think that would be a good spot for one. And also right in front of the hospital there. And there's a couple others throughout the downtown core as well. So we're gonna be adding more trees and green space. And I plan to hopefully integrate that house into one of those spots. I didn't have the heart to part out my platform nine and three quarters. So I've decided to leave that on the shelf for now. And then I've got to build the justifier and we have our brick separators behind the wooden figure and skeleton. And now I need to decide what to do with this open shelf above my desk. Before I do that, I've got to show you something in regards to the parts inventory. So everything is pretty well organized and some of the bins are extremely full. So therefore we have to put back stock because sometimes we have too many red one by twos or blue one by two bricks, etc. So all of the back stock is actually in here. And these drawers are beginning to fill up full of back stock and everything is in a bag. And it's actually getting Pretty crazy. What I need to do is actually go through these drawers and reorganize it once again and just make sure that everything has its own bag and then sort the bricks with bricks, tiles with tiles, glass with panels with glass panels, and then put some labels on the outside of these drawers here so that everything is nicely organized in here. There's also some more back stock underneath the tables as well. And there's uh, more bags inside some of those plastic totes. I also still wanna move these three drawer units right over here. I was talking about the one centimeter depth. There's a bunch of people saying that I should sand this leg or cut this leg because I need one more centimeter to fit the three Alex units under there. But I think I would just replace this leg with a two by four and then I'll have more than enough space to do that. Or like people have suggested, maybe I'll notch the leg. 
There's a few more drawers that have been added to this section. They're just temporary. Uh, one has minifigures, one has animals. I guess this one's not new, but it has a bunch of stuff that needs to be placed in the city. So I hope to get rid of those drawers as quickly as possible. I've got a ton of different ideas for this shelf here, but I think one specifically stands out from the rest. And that is the entire helmet collection. All of the Star Wars ones, also Marvel and DC. However, on this six foot shelf here, there's not quite enough space to display them all. So Adam West is at the back right now. But I think this is a great way to display all of the helmets. I think they look great above the desk there. And they were sort of hidden when they were on top of the Billy shelves. But they did do a great job of filling the top of that shelf. But the white actually looks pretty good from this camera angle, doesn't it? it sort of frames that Star Wars little nook over there. But I'm sure I'll fill that eventually. There's no question about it. Well, you know what? I think that was a super successful day. All 60 kilograms of the Lego is now sorted by size. And I think it's a lot more manageable when it's sorted like that. Also, those bags, they look super easy to sort. So we'll have to do that as well. But got a whole whack of sorting done today. Like having these shelves cleared by my desk is just a breath of fresh air. I am super excited about that and that display looks amazing. Still got a little bit of work to do up top there, but holy cow, what a difference. That was always just like photo bombing my videos and it was driving me nuts, plus it just like cluttered my workstation. So to get that done was a huge accomplishment. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. I hope you enjoyed this Lego room vlog as we sorted all of our Lego and built a new display. So have yourselves a fantastic day and farewell.